How's it going guys? Tommy14 here and welcome to F1 2011 Jensen Buttons Let's Play. Let's get into my least favourite F1 game it has to be said. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's see what it's like. So here we are then guys, in the paddock on F1 2011. I'd never have thought I'd have actually needed to come back to this game, but nevertheless we are back. And apparently we're midway through an event. No, we'll start a new event. So, those of you that aren't familiar, this is my F1 from 2010 to 2015 Let's Play with Jensen Button. So. We're going through the different years of the F1 games from 2010 to 2015 and um, yeah we're just doing some of Jensen Button's best races and trying to replicate that so 2010 we did the battle with Lewis Hamilton at the Turkish Grand Prix and of course 2011 probably the year A most remembered for Sebastian Vettel's dominance in the Red Bull but then secondly I'd say for Jensen Button's amazing drive in that McLaren Mercedes around Canada. So we're going to be trying to replicate that. The number four car of Jensen Button there. Could be doing a three lap race. Clear conditions of course it went from wet to dry but because we're doing three laps and we'll have it clear because the last three laps were sort of dry. Sort of dampish but it was mainly dry. And uh, we're going to be choosing our um, setup that we used to have so we had traction control medium gearbox manual sequential uh okay so that's pretty much how we had it let's get into the canadian grand prix where is it So here we are then guys, welcome to the Canadian Grand Prix, of course, 2011, that famous year where I think the race ended up being over four hours due to like a two hour delay, or one and a half hour delay, something like that, but here we are, we're at Jensen Button, let's have a look around. So it's fairly similar to F1 2010, but I mean the graphics were one of the main differences I'd say, as well as the... Uh, the handling if I remember but I don't think we'll be needing to have a setup let's just have a look through the grid quickly so we've got Lewis Hamilton first Sebastian Vettel second Mark Webber third so fairly standard grid for how it was in 2011 of course you got the cucumber in 24th so let's get out onto the grid for the Canadian Grand Prix So here we are on the grid, the 
this game does look completely different to F1 2010, where we've got three lights, four lights, coming on to five lights, and away we go. We've had a pretty average start. Oh my god, the gear shifts are so much quicker than in F1 2015. Oh my lord, the lot. Uh oh, oh god, oh god. Sorry, sorry, Vettel. Oh, he's wheel to wheel with us, I think. We're gonna turn in. I'm gonna get the lock on this gate. Ah! So here we are on the grid. Coming on to start the light sequence. We've got four lights. Now we've got five lights. Can we get past Fernando Alonso on the start? No, we can't. Oh, he's blocked us. So actually, we are gonna end up getting past him before turn one. Can we make it? Oh my god, that was robust. But we are in the lead just about with the Canadian Grand Prix. Oh my god. I forgot even, oh god, I forgot just how much lock you had to put in input bloody on this game. I remember with the wheel it was sort of Oh my god. Oh my lord. I remember with the wheel it was a uh, pretty crazy lock, but with the controller it's a uh, Oh my god. Oh it doesn't feel right at all. It feels like more of a Oh, I don't even know what it, Oh, God, hairpin time. Here we go. Oh, my Lord. Corner cut. Yeah, that's probably deserved, I'd say. As low as that oh, we got curves. I forget about curves. Yeah, let's use half of our curves up to get away from Lewis Hamilton. There we go. That's more like it. Coming up to 190 mile an hour. Are we going to touch it? No. Oh, my God, I've missed the braking zone. So where Lewis Hamilton, okay, he's still, oh, I'm sure he would have got past us there, coming it across the line of 174, oh, yard, oh my lord, I'm sorry for the driving. Come on, don't spin it this time, oh, how did we not lose from wing? We are go defensive on our teammate. Now he's winning so early, okay, oh god. I'm guessing this was when the AI started actually backing out of moves like ridiculously early. I don't understand how they did go so wrong with this game at the end. It just 2010 for me was just like the perfect platform to start on. Oh my god. I am using this with a controller as well, I just want to say that, because I did used to use, play this game with a I think at the time maybe I just got a Fanatec wheel. That was a good wheel. Oh my, oh my lord, how are we not losing from wing? The, uh, the damage physics seem to be a little bit off from, well they seem more like f 2015 damage physics which just seem to fluctuate whenever they want. So you can tap the back of someone's car and, oh god. I mean, we haven't played this game in so long but we're already two seconds ahead of the AI, really? This is, that's a thing? Oh god. Looks like we're gonna have to do another challenge, I think, lads. I think this one was just a bit too easy for us today in the end. Once we got... Whoops. Sorry. Once we got our act sorted, we just ended up beating Lewis Hamilton with ease. So there we are. Challenge one completed, I guess. So I'm gonna have to think of something off the top of my head now for uh, the next challenge. Fantastic race. Congratulations on the win. That's 25 points. See, just listen to that engineer. Absolutely no sense of excitement about him. It's like a Google Translate engineer. It, it, oh, just meaningless. So, we did that with 4.5 seconds in pretty much, I'd say, two laps, really, because first lap we couldn't get our act together. So, I think what we're going to do is part or round two of Lewis versus Jensen at the Turkish Grand Prix. So as you can see there, Jensen Button's very excited about his Canadian Grand Prix win. But let's go back in time and uh, let's do the uh, Turkish Grand Prix again on 2011. So here we are guys, the Istanbul Park, the Turkish Grand Prix. I do miss this calendar. That, this calendar. I do miss this track so much from the F1 calendar. It was such a good track to race on it. It provided such good races. It's a shame that to cut it off the calendar in the end. But as you can see, there is the man we need to beat, Lewis Hamilton. He uh, 
you pretty much annihilated us on the 2010 uh, game when we did that. So we need to get our revenge. Here we are, guys. Lining up on the grid for the Turkish Grand Prix. Mark Webber doing a getting a brilliant pole position. Lewis Hamilton, our teammate, is in second place, and we're there in fourth place. So we're one spot behind. Lewis Hamilton, we've only got Sebastian Vettel in between us at the moment. Can we get him into the first corner? Five red lights. And away we go. Oh god, we short shifted so early we might have Fernando Alonso on us. No for his good st Sorry, Weber. Sorry, sorry. We're going off track slightly there. Oh, we're in P2. Yes, can we get ahead of Mark Weber? Oh my god, he's squeezing us. Oh no, 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 there's Lewis Hamilton, no, ah, sorry, that was a bit robust, weren't it, oh, oh my lord, we are all over the shot, no, that is not turning out so good at the moment, let's use our rewind at this point, because I feel at this point we did sort of, oh god, smash our way past Lewis, so, oh god, oh the traction out of there, it's Oh my god, that was horrible. Oh god, oh god, okay. No! Yeah, so it's that section there that we seem to be weaker than the AI. Oh god, here we are, turn eight. Come on. Oh, we did that with ease this time. Lovely. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, come on, we're on the back of Lewis. Hopefully the slipstream is real on this game. Oh my god! Bloody hell, cross country F1 here. We're going to use all of our curves, I think. Oh, we oh, God, get off the grass. No, he's making a move on Weber. Oh, come on, Mansell. Oh, we got corner cut there, apparently. We'll give the position back. I didn't think we'd corner cut it, but. No! No! What the hell happened there? So here we are, take three now. Of this track, this track always seems to give me some sort of difficulties when I'm ever I'm racing on it. But we've got five. Oh my god, those lights work incredibly quick. Can we get down the inside of Sebastian Vettel? Don't hit Weber. Okay, we've hit Weber a couple times. We're ahead of Hamilton. Good. That's all we need to do. We don't even need to win this. Oh my god, stop squeezing us there, Mark. Oh no. Oh my god. What the hell's going on with me today on this track? I, let's give that another go! Oh my god, Mark. Right, break earlier. Don't put all the power down this time. Nice. Oh my god, if you could break any earlier, Lewis. That would be nice. Oh god, I'm around the outside. No, no, no! Oh my god. We just... We managed so easily in Turkey. to just put the power down, but for some reason, here, we're just unable to do it. I don't know why, maybe there's sort of more low speed trap. What the hell? Right, that neither of us took damage. I think damage might be off. Blow me. Anyway, four red lights, five red lights, and away we go. Oh my god, my voice went really sort of weird there. Come on, come. Oh my god, we're, uh, Vettel, don't turn out on us. Jesus. Oh, so we're in third place, just behind Lewis Hamilton. Not bad, not bad. Come on. Yeah, that was close. We had to sort of break up. AI are just so unpredictable. What are you doing? Lewis, you just break tech check me and then just bugger off. Right, we're going up the inside here, chap. Oh, that was nice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful move on Lewis Hamilton there. Go on, let's try and chase down Marcus O'Weberus. Shift down the gear, see if that helps. Yeah, that helped a little bit. We'll try that. Takes a few times and yeah, Hamilton's right behind us. Weber's gone defensive, I like that. See, he just breaks before like any Oh my god. He break before the breaking zone with like miles before it, which I guess there's probably a reason why the AI weren't that challenging on this circuit. Especially when wheel to wheel racing with them. But we've got a seven tenth gap pretty much to God, and we just throw that away perhaps. We had a 7 tenth gap to Mark Webber and then Lewis Hamilton there only 4 tenths behind so we can't afford to cock up at this point but oh my god 
We are. Oh my god. Oh my lord. We are completing our challenge at this current point in time of beating our teammate Lewis Hamilton, who beat us so convincing. Oh! Weber's got an issue! Weber's got a retirement issue, by the looks of it. He's smoking. Oh, I, can't, I can't look behind and. Uh, and shift up again, but I think by the looks of it, I think Mark Webber has fallen victim of some engine issues. Yeah, that's it, he's pulled over. There was that one's got through now, so it's a Mercedes 1. Mercedes? So you say that, it's a McLaren 1 2. That'll never sound right in my head. The past couple of years, but. Oh my god. Yeah, Mark Webber's fallen victim of some retirement issues. He's still going though. Fair play to him. He's, I think, still in third place. Oh my, oh my lord. Okay, no, Fernando Alonso. Oh my god, Hammond's caught us up so much because we bugged that bit up. Where is he? I'm going to put the power down. Hope he's not near us. Guy's actually there. We're, we're going to squeeze it to the pit wall. So he's just break, like. I'd say about 50 metres before the even the braking zone. So it's like, you just can't have a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle with the AI. So right, they just, just back out, like, oh my so god, far. they just back out way too early. But, we are now being challenged by Lewis Hamilton, I'd say, on our part with some sloppy driving, but... Yeah, there we are, Mark Webber, I think, is out of... The no, he's, there's still 24 cars, so... By the looks of it... Mark Webber's still continuing, I think, with his typical Aussie grit style. No! Not the last lap. Not the last lap. It can't be. Oh shit, he's the DRS. Uh oh. We might be in trouble here. Oh my god, come on. Not the last lap. We can't. We're going to dive bomb. Yes, what a move. On Lewis Hamilton. Yes! Looks like if we can just keep this part of the Together. We've beaten Lewis Hamilton only just though. Get in there. Well done, well done. See, engineer, he just couldn't care about what we just did there. But let's have a look at the results. Chitin ourselves, Jensen Button in first, Lewis Hamilton second. Fernando Alonso third. Mark Webber actually carried on going around to get himself a point, so uh, it may have ended up being worth it in the end. But that's been the F1 2011 Jensen Button Let's Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and also subscribe for more F1 content. But until next time, take care.